Hello, welcome. My name is Faisal from Phoenix Academy. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through, through the process of using a tool called ZenMath. Now, ZenMath is a graphical user interface version of NMath. It's the popular tool used for a host discovery and network mapping. So, after successfully gaining entry into a network, is it a wired network where you have to, where you have to, where, where you have to gain the network cable and connect your machine to it? You just get the network cable and connect your machine to the wired network. Or if it is a wireless network, a Wi-Fi network, where you have to crack the Wi-Fi uh, network, gain the key, you then use the password and gain entry to the wireless network. Now, after successfully gaining entry into the network, now you need to know what host are connected to that particular network now as soon as you connect to the, to the network your machine is going to be assigned an ip address through the dynamic host configuration protocol dhcp service okay i have my machine connected to a wired network now if i i can i, I can I run a command i will run this command to know what ip address i have been assigned and i will know the uh the uh, the uh the ip uh the ip range of this particular network so yeah, i can just run the command if config now we can see that my machine has been assigned with this IP address 192.164.3201. Now that means that uh, the whole of the network is in this uh, the the uh, the network is a class C network and it's having this IP address. The network uh, the network uh, address is 192.164.3 and one one. Okay. Now I will launch my ZenMap. To launch my ZenMap, all I have to do is to write the name of the tool ZenMap. Now I can just run uh, i can just press enter to launch the zenmath tool for me but if i launch it this way i won't be able to make use of the terminal again for other purposes so to, uh, if i want to make use of this terminal for other purpose then i just add an ampersand zenmap then it will launch the the gui uh, tool zenmap and then i can also make use of the uh, terminal for other purposes okay so i have my address if i wish to scan the whole of the network current i'll just enter the range in this as a target 192.168.43 okay dot 43.1 uh, and then uh, using the cidr notation and then it will scan the whole of the network and return the result for me okay but i don't want uh, I, uh, I i to save time i already have the target machine that i want to scan so i can just go uh, uh, to save time i let me let, just get its ip address and then we can feed in into the target and scan the machine and know uh, information and gather information about the machine i have config Okay, this is my meter exploitable machine and it's having the IP address of 192.168.43.342. Okay, so I can just put in about the Zen map and then go through 342. So this way it will only scan the but this meter exploitable machine whose IP address I'm already aware of. So going to the types of the scans this profile section lists the type of scans that i can perform using this zen map tool okay so there are various types of scans that we can perform but the for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to make use of pink scan quick scan and quick scan floss okay pink scan now pink scan we only go to the target and discover whether the target is up or down okay so let me launch the pink scan by pressing scan so the scan has started it's scanning the mission and also pink scan is very quick it's very fast so it has already finished scanning and you can see that our house is up and it took it approximately 8.26 seconds to scan so pink scan doesn't give us much information about our target okay just go to the target to discover whether the target is up or running okay now the next type of scan is quick scan that we want to make use of is quick scan okay so we just go to quick scan and then we hit the scan button okay so we can see that scan uh, quick scan give us much information than pink scan uh, quick scan will give us uh, the number of ports that are uh, the state of the fort whether those uh, the port that are open we can see we have it two close ports and then the port that are open it has given us the port and then the service that is running on this port you can see uh for 21 is open a tcp for 21 and you, you are running ftp service uh, we can see for 22 open or uh, running a secure shell ssh service and we can see for 20 running a telnet service so we can see the services and the state of the port whether that port is open 
oh uh, the, uh, the font is closed okay so we can see that quick scan will give us much more information than think scan okay now let's run a quick scan floss okay before i go to quick quick scan floss we can see the post uh when we go to the port host section we can see also uh information about more information about the port uh yeah uh, okay so we can see the port the state of the protocol running on the port the state of the port and then the service running on the port we can also go to topology section okay fish uh, okay one to topology let me select fish i and then we can see okay so we can see our uh, only one machine which is the our target machine that we run and then this is the uh, this is the uh, this is the port this is the, uh, the the location where the scan originated from okay Cost details and we go into host details we can see some more information about the machine you can see that the host is up we have 18 open ports we have 82 closed ports and the uh, number of host scan is 100 foot okay we can see the IP version 4 address of the machine and then the MAC address of the machine as well okay so now the next thing let's run a quick scan floss quick scan floss okay then we hit the scan button quick scan floss will take more time than quick scan uh, it will give us more information than the quick scan okay so quick scan plus has finished running it has given us service we can you can see that it give us more de much more detailed information than the quick scan sc uh, and then the quick scan we run earlier on okay you can see it give us the ports that are open as well as the version of the fort so we can see it for 21 is running uh tcp is open is running ftp ftp service and we can see the version of the the version of the service that is running on that particular fort so we can see all the fort and we can see the version of the uh, of the service that is running on that particular fort now what is the essence of running all this big scan and knowing about these the port the open port the service as well as the service version we can easily go to the internet now and and, and get an exploit so we can go to uh, internet and then uh, get any of this service and then search for exploits that we can use to exploit that particular service so using our uh, attacking machine like metasploitable we can use it to attack that particular machine uh, if that if any of these services has a vulnerability so when we go to the internet we search for exploit uh, exploit uh, perhaps any of these services has vulnerability then we search for exploit that we use to exploit that particular vulnerability that will enable us have access to that particular mission that will enable us to hack through that particular mission okay so uh you can see the mac address of the machine also it has been given and it also give us the operating system it's try to guess the operating system that is running on this particular mission it is linux linux cadel 2.6 uh network distance one half service info host with possible the local domain okay so when we go to fourth host also we can see uh, the port the protocol the state of the protocol the service and the version of the service you can see the topology this is where the scan originated from and this is our target host details you can see the host details they give us more detail information okay so we can see that the name of the fort is uh, the name of the operating system is right to guess it, to guess it as something between 2.69 to 2.63 with accuracy uh, accuracy of 100 percent so it is definitely a linux machine that is running on that particular fort on that particular ip address rather okay so this is uh this marks the end of this tutorial you can walk you can go through the other type of scans and see how they uh, they differ from the scans that we have run oh thank you very much